a gentleman who does an act so charming that when I saw him in Las Vegas, I said, we've got to have him on the magic show. He flew over. He's here. He is Tom Noddy. What we have here is a caterpillar bubble. See his antenna on the top, don't you? His blue eyes. And these guys can boogie, too. I'll tell you what I do. I do bubbles inside of bubbles, smoke bubbles, clear bubbles, clear bubbles inside of smoke bubbles, smoke bubbles inside of clear bubbles, inside out bubbles, yin yang bubbles, caterpillar bubbles, love bubbles, and a bubble cube. And the yin yang bubble is a double bubble, a smoke bubble, and a clear bubble, with a clear bubble in the smoke bubble, and a smoke bubble in the clear bubble. It's my most difficult trick to talk about. <laughs> I'll show you bubbles inside of bubbles. Okay, well, bubbles inside of bubbles. How about bubbles outside of bubbles? <laughs> this next one I'd like to demonstrate for you is the uh, love bubble. Now, many of you may already know that love is one of the most difficult tricks. Especially when you're looking for real love, we want oneness here. Well, to get love, you have to overcome surface tension. <laughs> hey, scientists told me that, that's true. Real love is oneness. Well, well you've had that happen before. <laughs> Try that again. So you now the Galactica bubble. snow bubbles. That one tastes terrible the first couple of years. I'm not recommending that to you. I'll show you now the inside out bubble. And the inside out bubble is a cheap trick. Remember I warned you about this. But it is an inside out bubble. So you start with an ordinary bubble like this. Then if you take it back into here like that and turn this around. <laughs> inside out, it's a cheap trick. One of the problems with my act is I have to light up cigarettes to do it. Cigarettes don't really make them any stronger or any lighter. They don't help in any way. So then children know not to smoke cigarettes to try this, but you can try everything else. I did try to quit smoking, but I didn't want to quit the act. For a while, I would only smoke when I was doing smoke bubbles. That didn't work. I needed a bubble after every meal. <laughs> this one, though, is called the Wonderland bubble. Wonderland because it gets curiouser and curiouser. Thank you. 
So next one I'm going to demonstrate, I demonstrated at a uh, university in California, UCSC, uh, for a mathematics lecture. The lecture was called Soap Film, Beer Bubbles, and Fluid Mechanics, Major Challenges in the History of Mathematics. <laughs> I admit I didn't understand a lot of what the man was talking about. A friend of mine was a physics major, and I told him I was going to do a bubble cube. And he thought about that. He knows that bubbles are minimal surface structures. That's why they pull into spheres. It's the smallest, most economical form they can take. So I told him I was going to do a cube, and he thought about that and said, and I said, you know, that would be impossible. Impossible. Well, he was a physics major with an incomplete understanding of physics, which many of us have, which all of us have. Nothing is impossible. Now I'd like to show you one that a friend of mine, a musician that traveled with me for a while, started picking up bubbles, and he came up with this one. He calls it the carousel bubble. some of the newer things. I'll attempt to do uh, sort of state of the art here in bubble magic. Uh, the carousel bubble inside of a bubble. I have just one more I want to show you. This one is the, um, <clears throat> the two-story carousel. There are eight million stories in this carousel. This will be two of them. Thank you.